Okay. We're going to show now how uh, water poured into a glass can act just like this converging lens that we have here. And this lens is the same kind of lens you'll find in a magnifying glass. So, as you can see in the back here, we've got two arrows, both facing in opposite directions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water into the glass. A little bit more. And hopefully you can see now that the arrows have switched directions. Well, the, the bottom arrow is now pointing in the same direction as the other one. Now what happens if I pour it all the way to the top? Now, once again, the arrows are pointing in opposite directions, but if I move the glass, you'll see that the arrows flip in direction. Now what's important is that this does not work at any point. So if we move the camera into different directions, you'll see that you won't be able to see the same effect. And you might get, you might look strange. Or if you come closer maybe, you'll be able to see that you don't see the same thing. So what's important with this is that the distance of the glass to the paper and where the person is looking is very important. And now let's try to understand how it happened that the arrow that we drew got reversed after we looked at it through the glass. To do that, we're going to use a computer simulation, a FET computer simulation. We've used it before. Once again, you look for FET, P-H-E-T, you go into physics, sound and waves, excuse me, physics, light and radiation, and then there, light and radiation, you're going to look for geometric optics. Download the simulation and here what you will see. You will see a lens here. This one you can change its refractive index. In other words, you can change what it is made of. You can change it, its curvature, how curvy it is, and its diameter. Now imagine you're looking at your glass from above. From above, the glass will look like a sphere. I'm going to try and make this lens as much spherical as I can. And to do that, you can make its curvature as small as possible. That's what I can do. And now I'm going, I can, in, of course, play with its diameter. It is not exactly a spherical lens because in order to use the rules of geometric optics, we actually work with thin lenses. So the experiment was a model. We're using it as a model for our experiment. Now you can see those two axes. The X here, the yellow axis, show the focal point of the lens. The focal point is the point where a parallel beam of light coming through the lens would converge if the light comes from here parallel to this horizontal line. Now you see the arrow, the pencil on the left, and you see this pencil which, what is the other pencil? It looks like I can manipulate the left one, but the right one is manipulated by itself because the right pencil is actually an image of the left one. And you can see here that this image is inverted. It's upside down. We call it a real image because the light rays going through the first pencil, the real object, after it comes through the lens, converges here. Now, right now, the image is smaller than the object. But let's play with it a little bit, and you will see that at some point, the image and the object will have almost the same size. When will it happen? When the object is twice the focal distance from the lens. So take a look, please. Right now, the distance from the focal point to the lens is about 50 centimeters. If I put the object exactly 100 centimeters from the lens, double the focal point. You can see that if I do it, the image is going to be exactly 200 centimeters away from the object, which means that the lens is going to be exactly in the center, 100 centimeters here, 100 centimeters there, and we have 
an image which is an inverted image of the same size of the object that is exactly what you saw in this experiment. But remember, the image is a real image. It's still an image, but it's a real. And it's an inverted image, and it's the image of the same size as the object. Now, after you do this experiment, you will know why it happened. Thank you.